are gonna make a wand. So I have two samples already made here. I have this pink one right here. It has a few beads hanging off, some different ribbons, pretty sparkly star. And then I have this other blue one here, same idea. Some blue and green sparkly ribbon and star. And they're super easy to make. We're gonna put one together. So I'm gonna set these aside over right here. We're gonna make an orange and yellow one right here. We've got our paint ready to go, our sparkly straw and beads and ribbon. I'm gonna move that over a little bit just so that we don't get that. We've got our two canvas stars and that's what we're gonna start with because we're gonna need to paint our stars first. And you might wanna have some paper towels uh, wet paper towels and some dry paper towels and a paintbrush and maybe some clean water so that you can clean them up. So if you wanna have a couple of colors, like I did here, I added a uh, blue in the center and then, oh, sorry, purple in the center and then blue on the sides. And then I add my sparkle here. I added a light pink um, in the center and then a more of a purpley pink on the sides. That's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna add our light, our yellow in the center. Of course, you can do it any way you want to do it. I'm just showing you this way. So we're gonna put the yellow in the center and then we're gonna put the orange on the sides. So starting with our light color first. And then we'll go to our darker color. And don't worry because if this gets on our fingers, we can easily wash our hands later. This is a water cleanup. Now, if it does get on our clothes, that's a little bit harder. So we wanna make sure that we are wearing an apron or an old t-shirt so that it does not stain our clothes. At least not our good clothes. Unless you wanna make a statement, you never know. All right, so we've got our yellow down the center and now we're gonna go for our orange down the sides. Now we're not painting the back because we're gonna be gluing those together and any strong white glue will do or a fabric glue will work or a hot glue gun will work as well. Or if somebody wants to stitch it together, if you sew, that will work as well. Now I want this to blend a little bit more, so I'm gonna take my finger I'm just going to use my finger to blend those two colors together a little bit more. See how that worked in there? Look at that. Oops. Using that clean finger there. And I'm gonna do that same thing over here. So I'm just blending the line of those two colors together with my finger. Now you don't have to use two colors, you can do it any way you want, okay? And if those edges start to creep up, don't worry, it's canvas that you can just bend it right back into place. And if you get some, like I have a little bit of orange in the center, it's not a big deal. Now let's make sure we put those paint brushes back into the water. And we're gonna put that back together. Now, for our ribbon. So we're gonna grab, while that's kind of drying, but we're gonna grab our ribbon and we're gonna put all of those edges, you see how we have these edges? We're gonna put them all together. We might need a helper for this if it gets a little bit difficult, not a big deal. But we wanna put all of the edges together. I 
want them to be perfect, but they do need to be lined up. I'll tell you why in a second. And I've got a couple more over here. And one more. So we're putting all those together and we're gonna tie that in just one knot. Because we want those to stay together. And we're not gonna see this knot, so it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be, see, I don't have them perfectly lined up, but they do need to be kind of together. And don't worry if all your edges are not perfectly lined up, because mine aren't, look at that. They're not perfectly straight. So I'm gonna move this over just a little bit, just so that you can see what I'm doing. See, not all of them are lined up, but that's okay. So we're gonna pick a couple of strings and you can pick whichever one. I'm gonna pick this skinny one right here to line up my beads. And I'm gonna take four beads. You should have eight, eight beads in your kit. And I'm gonna take two of each color, but you can put them um, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna do every other on this one. And I'm just going to line up those beads. I want them to move. So when you pick up that wand, so I want them to be nice and loose. So I have those four beads on there. Now, because this string is super thin, I'm gonna have to take this and tie this onto this last bead. So I'm gonna take it and you might need some help with this and that's okay. I'm gonna take it, I tucked it back under and I'm gonna tie a knot so that that bead is gonna stay on. See that? And I'm gonna tie it on again. So I'm tying a knot so that that bead is going to stay on. And I'm actually gonna tie it one more time. So I'm tying it actually three times just so that that bead stays on. So if you need some help with this, don't be afraid to ask because you should never be afraid to ask someone for help and get a little scissors and trim that off so that it's not gonna fall off. See that? I'm shaking it and it's not falling off. Now, I'm gonna, for my other beads, I'm gonna grab this wider one I'm gonna use that one for this one. And then this time I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the two yellow ones on the end together. So this one will be different. So I'm gonna kind of squeeze that in together to kind of get it to fit onto the bead. And put it on. Put my two colors together. And again, you can do this however you wanna do it. Put the second one on. Now, if this really gives you a hard time, you can always cut your end. Let me try to squeeze that together. You can cut the end so that it's more of a triangle shape. There it goes, it's fitting in. But these beads, these are called pony beads, and they're kind of a wide shape, so they fit pretty much any ribbon, which is really nice. Okay, so now we have them on here, and because this ribbon is wider, we can just tie this ribbon in a knot down here. So I'm tying it once, and then I'm gonna tie it again, and it should be able to stay on. And so I'm not tying it super tight, but tight enough so that the beads don't fall off. So I tied it twice and it's staying on pretty well. But I don't like that little edge right there, so I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off. So let's trim some of that off. Just so that we're looking at the beads, not at that little trim. All right. So there we have that. Now this is look this is feeling pretty dry over here. So now we can take this and we can kind of put our wand together. So we've got our straw. We're gonna flip this over. 
So we're gonna put our ribbon down. And is you, if you can see, let's line up our, I like to line up kind of matching these stars. So we're gonna line up our points. See how the points are? So we're lining them up so that they look nice. And you see how, here are the points. We want the straw to go in, not on a point. We want it to go here on the base. See how these go in on the base? Not, not on the point, if that makes sense. So I don't know what this part of the star is called, but we don't want it to go on the point, okay? Not on the point, in the middle of the point. So we are going to put our straw in here and we're gonna put our ribbon in here. So we, what, what we wanna do right now, we're gonna put that down. So we're gonna put that there and we're gonna grab some glue. So get yourself some white glue, some fabric glue, some, or tacky glue, whichever glue you, you have on hand. And don't be, don't be stingy with it, it's okay. Because even if it gets on the outside, once it dries, you're not gonna see it. But we want our stars to make sure that they're gonna stick. So I wanna stick some underneath here and on top, right? So we want some underneath the straw and the ribbon and on top, okay, because we want it to go, we want to make sure that that straw and that ribbon is not going anywhere except where we want it to go. So we want it to stay nice and sturdy. Okay, so I'm gonna stick this like right next to it. Okay, I'm gonna stick some right on top of this ribbon. Right, because if we stick that other star on top, it's not gonna stick to our star if there's no glue there. So make sure that we've got it covered. Now you don't have to go all the way to the end because when we squish it together, we know that that glue is gonna spread a little bit. So now we're gonna carefully match up all those points and smush it together. It's a very important word, smush. This is, you know, a technical, technological term that we use in art to smush. So we're smushing our points, making sure that they are being smushed together, that they line up nicely together. The points are very, very important. So make sure your points line up first and then the rest of it will line up. Because remember, it's canvas, it's soft, so you can manipulate it a little bit and then squeeze it together in the center so that the ribbon and the straw that that glue is really sticking, okay? And you may have to, and which is okay. Sometimes we have to just, you know, push it down a few times. That's okay. You can flip it over and check it. And just make sure, okay, is the glue really, you know, holding it together? We are smushing it and it may feel a little bit wet. That's okay. You know, and make sure, I mean, I have my, like I can feel that the straw is probably the length of my thumb underneath. Okay, and our last touch for this, and it's not, it's not finished, but our last touch for this would be to add our glitter and I have or their glitter paste here. And I'm just using my finger and I'm just adding my glitter paste right on top with my finger. 
just adding that little bit of magic right on top. But of course you wanted to make sure that all of your edges were on first before you added that glitter paste. And you can always wait too till it's completely dry. And for me, to let this dry completely, I would let this set, like you could even let it set on your paints or something that it's leaning up a little bit like this, where your star is getting air underneath. But I would make sure that all of the edges are sticking together first and then let that completely dry. And once that's completely dry, you can totally play with it like this and it is not going anywhere and it's gonna look awesome and you are going to love it and have lots of magical fun. I cannot wait to see how you do yours and how you decorate it. And please take a picture and show me because I can't wait to see it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Yeah.